welcome to the channel if you're new here welcome back if you've been here before Merry Christmas here's hoping Santa comes and brings something amazing from his sack for you over the festive period and because it's Christmas I thought I'd do a Christmas special so there it is it's Christmas bar on bog no and I can't just do that can I because if I just do that you guys will think I'm a Mardi bogger so today we're on a bit of a mission, and not just one mission, a number of missions. Let me list them off for you. We've got car camping spots on beaches to check out. We've got waterfalls on beaches to check out. We've got something Christmassy and blingy to pick up for the crib. Although that's miles away and about a two hour drive. And then we're gonna have to try and hope we can get up into the mountain sides in hope for finding a secret hidden village tomorrow. The problem is the weather's not great. And our mission starts right now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. For reasons that were disclosed in the last video, I'm now up on top of a hilly, kind of mountainy side in the Pucellas in Pembrokeshire, surrounded by snow and ice. And the problem is, the only way down is single track switchback roads, and it's full of ice. I do have some snow socks that I can put on the front wheels, but I'm just gonna risk it. You know how it goes. And that's just the start of it, because we're heading north. And when I check the weather report, there's a snowstorm up there. So we're going to be going from this into that. Now this one is going to be a snowy Christmas special. Mission-tastic. Let's sort the chisnick out. And let's get on the road, baby. It's Christmas. God damn it. I'm hoping this is sludge and not ice. I think we're in luck. I think we've left at the right time. Absolutely amazing, stunning views up here. All my days, all my days, all my days. Hang on a minute. We got a rainbow. Oh, wow. Look at that bad boy. I don't know if you get it on the picture. I really hope you do. Just cutting down in the valley near the beaches. Oh, my days. What a day, mate. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a good one. I can feel it in my bones and vibe already. Legend, right. Just gotta get down past these switchbacks. cock and ball nowhere. I've no idea what the cock and ball's got to do with it, but we're definitely in stick land. Check it out, man. It's just single track roads the whole way. Miles of it. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is leading down to a car camping spot. Yeah, we're scoping, you know, you know. And I should have stayed here last night. I see what they were saying. It's near a beach, and it's a National Trust car park. And they reckon, like, nobody comes down here to check and I can totally see why. It's about five miles off a main road, just single track, so yeah, I think it would have been kosher, especially this time of year. Oh well, might have to put it down for a, another time. Although, it could be crap. I suppose we should take a look first. Yeah, the lead into it looks awful. I don't know whether I want to bother. I think I might turn around now. It don't look worth looking at, does it? with a sea view in front of you. Oh, wow. Just had a weird sensation with the brakes. Oh, I think I'm all right. That was weird. It felt like it grounded, do you know what I mean? You know when you're like, I don't know, no brakes, grinding. <laughs> Maybe it was just some crap between the brake disc or something. Fingers crossed. Got a long way to go. A couple of hundred miles at least and mountainous roads before we get back to Leicester. Yep, it's confirmed. This spot is beautiful. Wow. Car park just down here, I think. Wow. It does say no overnight parking. Dimpasio Dros Nos. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, mate, even the view around it's pretty sweet, isn't it? Oh, my days. Wait till you get a load of this beach, mate. It's sick. Mate, look at the surrounding area. Middle of nowhere, you know, you know. 
Oh, this is absolutely legend. It's not an easy drive in. I wouldn't imagine you get much traffic down here day or night. Maybe in the summertime, it'd be absolutely manic. You know what Pembrokeshire is like, but yeah, it's pretty sweet at the minute. Right. Who cares about anything? Get it out of this beach. Oh my days. And I haven't put your wind muff on, so you might be getting a little bit blowed out. I do apologize massively, but oh my days. Imagine this in the summer when it's really nice and warm. Down there with a barbecue in the evening. Ooh, not too sure how you're getting down to it, but I'm guessing there's a way somewhere. Uh, yeah, the steps over there goes all the way down. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, kayak out, paddleboard in. Chilling for a week up on that spot. This is legendary. Oh, days. I'm gonna have to try it in the summer. I know it'll be ramming, but you gotta try it. This is one of the most amazing spots we've seen. It's beautiful. Wow. All right, talking to beauty, eh? The next spot, the waterfall. Oh, finally, we get a freaking signal, man. Nightmare. The next spot, <sighs> Triaf Waterfall or something, I think it's called, down near, hang on, Abergorf or something. Now, look, here's the thing with this waterfall. It looks spectacular. I really hope I can find it. It's on a beach. I might have mentioned it a few times, but this is one of the main spots that I wanted to come down and check out on this trip. So I'm pretty psyched we're actually going to get to it. It doesn't look too windy. Might be able to get the drone out and there's blue skies. It's not too far away. He's telling me 15 minutes. Let's get on the road. Mate, I'm psyched. I hope we can find it. Boom time. Trey Saf then, or Trey Saf. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, if I'm perfectly honest. Somewhere down here is a parking space near the waterfall, I hope. Yeah, pretty steep incline coming in. I just rolled over somebody's cat. Oh, I was so close. My thing just jumped out in front of the car. Look how it's going slow. <gasps> Wowza. Uh, this looks a spot. Let's hope it's parking. I don't know. It's a bit random. Oh, I'm not being funny. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing the waterfall. Damn it. Hang on a minute. Oh, man. I've just run all the way up the beach. We're in the right spot. Wait till you get a load of this. This looks amazing. Let me show you. It's Christmas. Oh crap. Right, the waterfall, mate. Look at this area. Wicked. Proper beach life, sea life, boats, kayaks. Absolute gorgeous, gorgeous sandy beach. It really is. Beautiful blue waters, cliffs. Oh man. Look at these things up on the cliffs as well. They're pretty special, aren't they? I'll tell you what as well. We've hit this at exactly the right moment. Not only can we just about get over to the rocks here to get a view of it, but that lady over there was saying, with the dogs, in the summertime there was no water coming off this. And obviously now we've had the snow and rain, it's looking lush, mate. Let me show you. mate i'm totally psyched with that that was a brilliant shot of that waterfall really nice to come down here and find this after like waiting so long saw it on tv a couple of months ago checked it out really wanted to come down and have a look happy days right next stop that's two missions down and three to go we've got to pick up the bling for christmas we've got to pick up supplies and we've got to get to the spot for tonight with some light because we just don't want to be driving mountainous sketchy roads through Snowdonia in the dark in this weather. So, yeah, first stop, Aberystwyth. I mean, Aber Aberystwyth. I mean, Aberystwyth. Yeah, there's a Sogra over there that I ordered something on the tinsel net last night. I've got to go pick it up and the place closes at six. It's half one now and it's an hour's drive. So, yeah, we should be good. Oh, don't tempt fate. Right, slight change of plan. Looks like there's a mini supermarket thingy me jiggy bobarama thing here. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have a look. Might be able to get all the supplies I need from here. Could cost an absolute fortune though. Oh well, 
is like this. Can't be no more expensive than the Poop. The supplies that I wanted, absolutely sir, and a pretty reasonable price. I'm quite surprised. Right, one more stop before we head into the hills, the Christmas bling at Sogra. Let's go. Holy crud! I don't know if you see that coming in. That's a proper storm coming in over the ocean there. That's pretty mental. It's not often you see that. Well, not often near the ocean, am I? So, you know. Oh, wicked. Another rainbow, but aye, aye, aye. I was just thinking about that storm. Great, isn't it? Look fantastic. But if that's coming this way, over the mountains tonight, and it gets freezing temperatures, that's going to drop us snow, isn't it? And that's where I'm heading. Oh, mate. I could do without it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice and all that, but sketchy single track roads in Wales and snow, yeah, you don't really go together, mate. Fingers crossed it doesn't happen. I'll tell you what, what a drive, mate. What a drive. It's just been a pure A road, and it's just one beautiful little village in the middle of nowhere after the next. There's like miles between each one, and then another little spit of village. Oh, mate, this area is just fantastic, and it's all along a coastline. It's just stunning. And here it comes. Look, we've got the rainbow and the cloud on the left, man. That's oh crap. Oh no, oh freaking hell, it's bloody hell, oh no, that does not bode well for tonight, crap, oh no, look at it though, look at that rainbow man, that's so cool man, really really prominent for the colours, ah, stunning, a bit of an asshole to drive through like, but yay, wicked, <laughs> Game on, oh my days. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of freaking me out. It's battering the shiznick out of the roof box. And it's weird, it's like, listen. My blooming window wipers are kind of like squeaking as if it's not wet. That's so random. I'm hoping it's a flash storm. Uh, it looks like rain, but it's landing as snow. What's that about? and we're down by the ocean. Imagine what it's going to be like in the hills. This is a proper mission-tastic Christmas special. Aye, aye, aye. Bloody hell. It's dark like night and it's three in the afternoon. Here we go. Boom time. Sogra. We got it. Right, I'm going to go and get this thing and then we can think about what we're doing thereafter. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> this is gonna fit in the crib. But uh, yeah, it's Christmas. Little sneak peek. Diddly bop. Oh, it comes with its own pot as well. I'll show you in a bit. Right, next pot. Feed me better. There's a Mac D's five minutes from here. I'm having it large, mate. <laughs> oh, look at it sneaking into view. You do, you do. Du -du -du -du. Mac D's. Ah, oh, Bates freaking cooking a Christmas dinner tonight, don't it? Hey, bog it out with Brussels sprouts. Who wants freaking Brussels sprouts anyway? You know, I would have done the Yorkshire pods so though, that'd have been nice. Next is the roundabout, then turn left. Right, let me go sort my order Take out. The next left. I'm not gonna lie, I normally got the saver menu if I'm honest, but you know, it's Christmas, isn't it? They only do the McTasty bacon thing once a year. So yeah, on it, mate. And talking of being on it, we've got to get a grip here. I've got an hour's worth of light at max, 
and I've got to get to, up to a place called Corris and then a little bit further up into the valley. It's like a little spot in the Mac Loop and it's supposed to have awesome views. Thing is, if the weather takes a turn for the worst, when I'm going up there, I might stay in Corris. If it looks okay, we'll hit the Mac Loop, but I'm gonna eat up and then I'll kind of catch you closer to the spot. Definitely gonna end up wearing half of this. Merry Christmas. Damn it, 25 minutes, we're kind of losing the light and it does look like we're heading into those snowy hills. You do. <laughs> oh, my days. Honestly, mate, it's looking freaking wicked. Look, there's all mist and cloud over there. Fog over the hills. Ah, oh, this is the spot, mate. This is going to be legend. Look at that mist. I hope that's mist and not snow. Oh, <laughs> This looks a tidy little town, doesn't it? Done the old town centre clock up for Christmas for these lights and such. Wicked. I think this is the last bit of civilization I'm going to see today. <laughs> it's all up into the hills from here. Oh, wow. We're proper losing the light and I've got about 15 minutes to go. I think it's going to be dark when we get here and I think it's on this road. This is just like some mountain road. Honestly, it could be anywhere, mate. Anywhere in the world this mountain road, it just feels familiar. Like just familiar to Asia roads and stuff like that that I've been on there, like mountainous roads with these cut-offs down the side. It's pretty impressive. I wish I could show you more, but we might get a view of it tomorrow on the way down. For now, I've got seven miles to go. See you when we get there. Mm. Here we go then. Is it pull off? Is it on the side of the road? Oh my days. What the hell? It seems quite busy. Wowza. Okay. Kind of cool. Seems alright. This is wicked. This will definitely do it. It's far enough off the road not to be bothered. And it's a pucker little spot with a phone signal. So yeah, I'm not going to mess about. I'm going to get the crib off, set up, get the curtains up, get the kettle on. And we'll see about this Christmas bling. <laughs> Yeah man, first time. Game on you do. Now I just gotta change the freaking batteries on the lights again. Again. Uh. Oh mate, I've gotta show you this before we do anything. This is legend. On the Christmas special. <laughs> We're dreaming of a white Christmas. It's freaking snowing, baby. <laughs> and I'm stuck on a mountainside. Ah! Proper echo, don't you know? Look, check it out. It's all settling on the ground as well. Nightmare. I've got a feeling I'm gonna wake up in about a foot's worth of snow in the morning. Could be a little bit sketchy. Right, let's get back in the warmth quick. <laughs> right. Christmas then. <laughs> Freaking hell, it's cold out there. I bought a Christmas tree. Check it out, mate. Yeah, it even comes, like I said, I think, with its own little pot and lights. I think it's battery powered. Crap, where did I put the batteries? Oh, yeah, I remember. That thing works when it's on a certain angle. Weird connection. Definitely gotta get an upgrade. More importantly, the tree. Oh, I need a knife. Oh, don't cut your freaking hands off, man. Oh man, this is tough to open. We are miles from the hospital. Don't you know. Ah, ah. Bloody hell. It's like sealed more tighter than a freaking nuclear reactor, don't you know? God damn it. Christmas will be over by the time I get this open. Fucking hey. Uh oh. All right, I'm really hoping there's no building involved. I don't know. Man. Pull. Oh, it's not the Can't pull it. Can't pull it. I'm going in the back end. Turn her over. <laughs> Turn her over, I'm going in the back end. Oh, no. No, behave. I wouldn't say that. 
Right, anyway, yeah, the back side. <laughs> oh, may as well just cut the freaking box apart, I know. Oh! You're gonna like this. Not a lot. Paul Daniel style, you do, you do. Mate, it's a bit blingtastic. Hang on. I can't get it out on camera, we just ain't got the space in here. Bear with. Ah, crying out loud. Whoa, dude, we got VIP shit, isn't it, going on here, baba? Hang on, it's coming. You're gonna like this. Freaking hell, I may as well just cut the bloody box apart. Oh, bloody box. Hang on. Wait, wait, dude. She fits. Oh, look at her. She's beautiful, man. Oh, fucking box. Hang on a minute. Bloody thing out of the way. Christmas time. Yeah, anyway. Right, hang on. Hang on. What the frig is this? Is this when it goes out of date? Oh, stop with that shiznit. Where's my lights go? Hang on. Something's not right. Bear with. Right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not freaking entirely sure where the batteries go. There's a load of glue on the bottom of it. Look at that, that's been really well built in some Chinese backwater, isn't it? Bloody hell. Argos, doing yourself proud with the, uh, what do you call it? rightful workplaces or whatever it is you know what i mean i don't know say less i guess i should there's a lot of guys there's a lot of glue in so ah hang on a minute dun 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 oh, freaking hey does this come back oh, come on there's a battery thing oh christ it's going everywhere dude i'm thinking i might cut the top off i don't know it's freaking white shiz and it's going everywhere, all over me bed. Crying out loud, looks dodgy ass. Anyway, oh yeah, this is it. There's really well designed this bugger, isn't it? Yeah, dead easy to get this out, yeah. Well in, well, well, yeah, we're in. Freaking hey, dude. Oh no! Christmas all over, ain't it? Every freaking device these days, man, you gotta have a screwdriver. And of course, I haven't. Bollocks. Why do they do it, man? What's wrong with just freaking clips? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I might be jumping the gun. I don't know. What do you think? What? This is a nightmare. It had to be, didn't it? Can't be bloody simple. Oh no, that would have been too easy. The freaking screw on the dump. Oh, he's more shiznick all over me bed. Everywhere, mate. Everywhere. The bloody screw's gonna chaff because I've got a bleeding knife. Oh, I'm gonna lose the screw. It's so small. Oh, it's actually coming out. I can't believe it. Look, let me give you a ranking in close up. We're actually doing something. And it's working. Not yet. I mean, I might have bugged the old bleeding tree by now, you know what I mean? Surely that'll come out by hand now, yep. Oh, freaking A. Oh, man, I, I legit just dropped the bleeding screw. Oh, freaking A, hang on. I need somewhere safe for it. Right, next step. Oh, crap. Surely it should just come off now. Thing is, it's so tight in there. Oh, bloody Nora. Yep, definitely gonna cut my fingers off, ain't I? There we go. Oh, that's a freaking easy, eh? Chinese design. Made in China. See? Oh. Aerosol. Lidl's own brand. Yeah, nice. Right. I've I hoped. I really hope this works. I really do. I'm hoping it's gonna look really nice. Because if it does, it's another Christmas present I've not got to buy. <laughs> I'm joking! Right. It's so all we've got to do is get that screw back in. Bollocks, where did I put it? Oh no! I'm joking. I've got it here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not working. Not working. Oh, it is working. It's working. Christmas is coming. <laughs> Santa's coming. 
Let's hope you bring something really tasty and nice from your sack. Good old Santa, you dirty bugger. Right, eh? Moment of truth. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I need to set the scene. It's got a lot bling tasty. Let me put the old <laughs> dusty tin foil up. Christ, that was found in a skip. I'll tell you more about it later. You ready? Oh crap, it's a bit stuck. I feel like we should have some sort of drum wall. Please work. Oh mate. Look at that. Nice. I mean, yeah, admitted it's a bit bent over and beshaggled. I like those white bits. Even though half of them over my freaking bed. Oh yeah, good news as well. I can wedge it in the corner. Wicked mate. A sneaky little bit of Christmas, man. Pretty cool, huh? In two days' time, it's that time of year again. And you know what? Look, let's do it. It's been a tough few years. It has. It's been shit. Let's be honest, for most people. The world's in a weird place, man. Time feels not right. Shit's going on. And it's messing people's heads up. But you know what? It is Christmas. And it's that time of year when... We get that chance to show and share some love and some giving and see people that we don't always see through the year for whatever reasons, family, friends. We should cherish this time with these people. It doesn't come around all the time and sometime near in the future it may not ever come around again. You know what I'm saying. So when Uncle Trevor comes round and he's talking the same shit that he always talks every time you see him, give him a share and tell him you love him. It might make the world a difference to him, you know? And for those of you that have not got family and friends and it's not going to be the best Christmas, I get it also. I've had years, many, where I've spent Christmas Day and Christmas period alone. I've had years where I've had rat in North Thailand for my Christmas dinner. So I get it. It's not always an amazing happy time of year for everybody. And my thing for you is look for the future. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Stay strong. The new year's round the corner and it may bring something better. Next year could be a new start. This year for me was beyond belief with the channel. So whatever you're doing this Christmas, be it good or bad, alone or with friends and family, my heart goes out to you and I wish you the best. And I do really hope Santa comes and brings you something sexy from his sack. You know! Right. I'm going to get myself organised and sorted and I'm going to cook me Christmas dinner <laughs> or what we've got of it. Hey, listen, look, big love to everybody, man, over this Christmas period in the new year. We've got an amazing community on this channel with some big hearted people. I'm setting up the Facebook page. It might be out the group already. If you're not a member of it already and it's set up, come and join it. Come and share the love. There's a good vibe around this channel. Let's keep it going. New Year. Let's see where we can be next December. This time last year we were doing a similar thing. But on the backside we were in a completely different situation. And that little tale I said I was going to tell at 20,000 subscribers. It's looking like it might be uh, coming in the next few months. Maybe six, who knows. But my life changed a lot over the past 12 months. And the channel's moving forward at a great pace. I've got some wicked plans for the New Year's. Stick with me, guys. It's going to be spanking. We're going big. Right. Christmas dinner. Enough waffle. Dry my eyes. Merry Christmas, everybody. Big love. Bloody brilliant as well. Wouldn't be Christmas, would it? Without a freaking disaster. You're not going to see it, but... Bloody coffee cup. Went arse over to it, didn't even see it. I'm assuming it was about three quarters of a cup of coffee. Cause that's all stained and wet through. That's all wet through and sodden. 
and so is that bad boy it's gone all the way through through there drips all the way through there drips all the way on the floor and luckily missed the box underneath so now i've got the choice tonight do i sleep with a wet head or do i sleep with wet feet i don't know good good job it's the last night i can't believe i've not done it already on this trip to be honest right mince pan and custard it might warm the room up a little bit and dry it out <laughs> so it might be a simple affair to cook tonight let's be honest i'm doing it and i let's see how badly i can burn this custard <laughs> surely not oh i wouldn't put it past me right i've checked the end of the world destructions on the back of the pack and i'm not gonna lie they're pretty limited it doesn't sound too difficult oh my days how can i be saying that Oh, steaming up a little bit. Right, is all it says is put the powder in there. Some of, not too much. Oh, that's a bit warm. And pour some water on it. And then stir. I think I can coat. I'm not blowing my own trumpet or anything. But I've got a good vibe for it. <laughs> oh, mate. It just says keep stirring until there's no powder or lumps. And that, ladies and gentlemen, looks about it. Oh my god, we've cooked something in the crib that's not burnt. Finally, it must be Christmas. You do. And of course, there's a piece of resistance we're not messing about. Look at these bad boys. These are Popty JK Lewis's. I think they were baked in a factory in Durham and then sent down to wherever I got them. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, piece of resistance in there. Merry, ruddy Christmas. I might want a spoon. Let's see if it's cooked properly. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know if they're uh, out of date or not. Christ, they're a bit rough. Bloody hell. Yeah, I might want another one in there. Not gonna lie. Gotta mix it up, ain't you? There's no point like dabbling around. It's got custard in it. Mix it together. Mush it up. Mix it up. It's the way to go, I feel. Anyway, burning. Looks it. Crap. That custard's not the hottest, is it? I oh, better eat that quick. And I think I'm going to eat that, get a fresh cup of tea, and then get my head down for the night. It's only half seven, but there's no bloody phone signal, is there? It was just a phallus there, thought there was. 100 metres that way, 100 metres that way, no problem, but not at this spot. It's them cliffs, and it? It's just blocking it. So I've got the same three things downloaded on the phone that I've had for about nine months now. So... Maybe I'll watch one of them again. I can almost recite the damn things word for word, honestly. But, yeah, doing all that. Get me head down. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. It's going to be a good one tomorrow. If we can find this spot, this is going to be legend. I've had this on the cards for about six months. One of you guys told me about it. I've got no map for it. I've got no trail for it. I've just got some funky little details that this dude's gave me. So, big shout out to you, my friend. Let's hope we can find it. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Check this out. Bloody snow on the window! Oh, my bees! <laughs> you know it's freaking cold when there's snow on the window. <sighs> I don't want to get out of bed. I just put my leg out the bed and it froze half off. Oh, I'm going to have to get the kettle on quick. Crap. There's not just snow on the window, is there? Oh, mate, check this out. Um, it's snowing. Merry bloody Christmas. Oh, my days. Nightmare. <laughs> what the friggle, man? Oh, my days. Oh, snow everywhere. <sighs> I've got to get down a bleeding hill. Nightmare. I need coffee quick. I really want coffee this morning, but, uh, I'm not sure the gas is going to play ball. Gutted. <sighs> so cold, the gas keeps freezing. I have to like keep taking it out of the thing, shaking it. <sighs> Give it a bit of hot breath on there and then I might get 20 seconds with a good flame, look. There you go, a little bit better for about 20 seconds till the can freezes over. <laughs> I just want coffee. Wow, 
This is instilling me with a little bit of confidence. There's traffic coming around and there's blue skies. So it might stop snowing a little bit. Thing is, these people are telling me that down that way towards Corris is pretty sketchy. It's slider, there's a truck that's spun out and it's a little bit icy, but they're saying once you get down there, it's not too bad. Thing is, the hidden village in Corris is that way. Leicester's that way. Common sense is telling me to go that way. <sighs> but it's Christmas. Where's the fun in that? Let's get down to Chorus. Please start, please start. <laughs> Happy days, mate. Hey, look, it used to say 65 degrees. It's giving up now. I don't even know. Mate, it's a decent amount of snow on the old uh, windscreen, you know, you know. Oh, mama, that. Right. Yeah, this, this could take a while. <laughs> Eek. Let's see if I can find a bit of Christmas bling for this one. I doubt it. Damn it! It's out of power! Oh, days, it starts already. State of the area. Oh, it's going to be a wheel spin tastic today, isn't it? Not now. Oh, mama. Just take me to on, lad. Take me to on. Can't believe we got snow on a Christmas episode, peeps. This is freaking legend. What a day, baby. What a day. Ah. And on top of that, because of what day it is, England's going to beat France in the World Cup tonight. Did we lose? Oh, mate. Oh, got it. I haven't seen it yet. It's not been on yet. <laughs> no, we won the World Cup. Oh my days. Oh, England, bless you. Gareth, give him a knighthood. You know. Oh, we did get beat by France. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna check because I really do not want to end up on single track dodgy roads today. I'm probably gonna, oh, but I'd rather not if I can help it. Just saying. I'm gonna pull over. Just wanna double check we're going the right way. Right, apparently Chorus is this way, and there's also a few other cars coming down here, so happy days, mate. We're good, we're good. I'm a little bit sketchy, a little bit worried, man, with this weather, you know. It's a little precarious. You know what it's like on icy roads, man? It's like, oh shit. I got a bit of snow coming in the car. Hang on, let me do the window up. Damn it. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, you know what it's like on these icy roads, man. One minute you're driving normal, next minute you hit a patch of ice and you boom into a wall or something. It's not fun and you have no control. No control, eh? So yeah, a bit precarious. Nearly there. Holy turd burger Batman. I don't know where the fraggle we are. It's telling me to park here. What? How the frick can I park here, man? Oh, you muppet thing. There ain't no parking around here. Uh, ah. Uh, I just don't know where to park here. This is random as bug. I've actually just passed a car park a couple of hundred meters up, I think. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna bail there. Oh man, I don't know, side of the road thing. No time for messing, you know, you know. Time's 11 o'clock, we've got it quite early, but I do not want to be leaving late. I want to get out of here by about half one, two o'clock with a little bit of light to at least get to decent roads on the way back to Leicester. So, shizzing it together, let's do this. I'm not even sure we're in the right spot. We might find it, we might not. Let's go have a look. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to get snowed in? Right, back at the spot where I was originally going to park the car then. I've got to be honest, mate, this snow's coming in ever. I'm getting really worried about getting snowed in here. I'm not too fussed about getting snowed in. It's just that I've got to get back and edit a video and all that, you know what I mean? I have got to be back in Leicester by tomorrow. It ain't looking good. Also, it ain't looking good for finding this little remote village. I've got to be honest, in these conditions, this is going to be difficult. 
I'll give it a go, but we'll see how we go, no promises. It's called Rat Goed, and it's an old abandoned sort of slate mining village from years ago. It's supposed to have churches and buildings and some form of like old mining equipment, maybe a little entrance to a mine. I'm not gonna find all of it today, guys. No way, but we'll have a look. Thing is, like I said, I don't have a trail map for this one. I've just got a few like pinpoint photographs and bits that some guys gave me to find the place, but uh, I think this looks like the entrance to it. I hope. Holy crap, it's all uphill. It's wearing me out, man. I've got so many bloody layers on and beanies and whatnot. Yeah, can't take them off. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna freeze if we do. Hot on. Sweating like a sumo's jock strap at the minute. Honestly, so hot. Nightmare. What a view though. What a view. What a freaking day, baby. Oh, mate. Awesome. I haven't seen snow like this in years, mate. This is freaking legend. Look at it. Hanging off the trees, doing its thing on the rocks, and bits of wood, and oh, it just looks magnificent, man. It looks freaking awesome. Winter has landed on me. Last day of the trip, mate. Proper made up. We'll deal with the car later. Then we're about. Let's just enjoy the moment. Because it's well worth it. Ain't every day, eh? Snow on the trail. Whew. Happy days. Right. I've got a good vibe for this. I think we're going to find a few bits. I thought it might be a little bit difficult with the conditions, but it's not deep, deep snow. And if you look, Plenty of people have done this route this morning already. There's trails and stuff. I've seen a horse come down here with someone on it. So yeah, it's trodden. It's not too bad. <sighs> Wicked. Oh yeah, here's one. Totally off tangent, but because it's snowing, I'm near the top of the ridge. The Yad Mao tow lift in uh, the Pennines. Damn it. I tried to get a pass for it the other day. And I had no idea. The closing date for getting passes is November 31st. It's about December 10 today. So I'm throwing it out there. If anybody knows anybody that's linked to the Yadmau tow lift up in the Pennines, hook me up. My email's there, you know, wondering where 75gmail.com. I just want to come up, ride the mountain for a day, hit the tow lift, and maybe promote it a little bit for you guys on the flip side, you know what I mean? So yeah, if anyone's out there, that's got connection to it and can hook me up with maybe just a day pass or something, you know, and let me know. I think we've landed. We're here. No way. I think we really have landed. Check it out. There's a building down there. This is the thing, though. There might be some buildings around there that actually have got people living in them. I just don't know. I've not overly had a massive amount of information about this place. No phone signal. Um, and just going on kind of what I can remember. But there is supposed to be the Rat Goet Hall, which is kind of like owned by somebody or something. But uh, you can get close up to it. That looks like a farm that's in use. Yes, it is. Right, I think we're a little bit off the way then. It might be further afield. Damn, man. I'm not being funny. That is a bit of a sketchy place to live, isn't it? That's proper middle of nowhere, mate. Look at the road coming in. It's nothingness. You're snowed in until this snow stops, mate. Nightmare. I hope I'm not saying the same later. <laughs> but they really are. There's no way of getting out of there unless you've got proper four before and chains on your wheels. I guess you would have if you lived out here, wouldn't you? That's the thing in Blighty though, isn't it? Most of us are unprepared for weather like this. I've got some snow socks, but I don't know if they'd be any good and I've never used them. Places like Austria and Alps and all that. I do mention it because I've lived there. Like. They're just so well prepared. Everybody's got chains on the tires and three foot of snow stops no one. I always remember coming out of a club in Sol in Austria one time, about two o'clock in the morning and walking home and it must have been about half two, three o'clock by the time I got back to where I was staying. And there was some woman in the 60s outside clearing the snow from the front of her house. And it was so random at three in the morning. I asked the geezers and they said, thing with it is, over there, if somebody slips and hurts himself in front of your property, you're liable. 
So when it snows, they're all out there trying to clear it so they don't get sued. Mad as, eh? 60 years old, three o'clock in the morning, shoveling snow. You ain't getting that block here. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to find this area a little bit odd. There is supposed to be where that farmyard was, like way further sort of, if we're looking, northwest. It's supposed to be an abandoned church. And um, right up that away is supposed to be like a few sort of buildings. I have no idea where the rat go, go ahead hall is. But I'm nearly there. I'm like two thirds of the way to the end point. I haven't seen anything. What I am seeing is quite a lot of work going on around here. Logging. I don't know what this blue container thing's all about. I honestly hadn't expected to see stuff like that around here, so I don't know. I guess we keep hunting. Boom time. Buildings. Possibly derelict. I think the trail goes all the way up and then cuts all the way back around. Happy days. We might find something here. Wow. Look how heavy the snow's coming in. Oh my days. This is mental. I'm trying not to think about it, but uh, the car, the crib. I don't fancy me chances much of getting out of it. I'm not going to lie. Could end up hauling up for a couple of days, man, in that village where I parked. Gutted. Right. I think I've got about another 10 minutes to the end point of this trail and it starts slowly to cut back. See if there's anything up there. No way. Check these two on the quads, man. They've just been speeding and bezzing around everywhere. Looks like they're having a right good day of it. I think this might be Rat Goed Hall. It looks like these dudes are going over there as well. Something's going on. I don't know whether they clocked me or something, but check out these sheep. Wicked, mate. All over the trail. I'm gonna have a wave of them if I can. See what's going down, see where everything is. This is a wicked area, mate. Look at it. Wicked, mate. What a top pair of lads. Dropped me foot in it, though, didn't I? Mentioned the bleeding football. Nightmare. We're not Wales out last week. Got it. Oops. But good news, we've got him. What we're looking for is all this, mate. mate. There's some abandoned buildings. There's a rat going all. I don't know about the church. We'll probably get that one a miss for today, but look at these boys. 500cc quads, man. Loving it in this, isn't it? Says he's out doing snow bailing, like putting hay bales out for the fur animals and whatnot, but yeah, I think he's just buzzing around having some fun. Damn it. Uh, no, I think we're going this way. Well, I'm not going to lie. Feels a bit random, doesn't it? Um, I'm pretty surprised to see somebody living this far out. I mean, do you see any electric pylons around here? There's no electric down to that building. I don't know what she does for electric. Just bumped into the owner, a, little, a lady and a little dog. She was saying all the areas around here, they're named after the mountains. And uh, oh, how does she say? Hratgoid, Hratgoid. I think it's pronounced. He's the only one round here that's uh, not got a mountain named after it. But wow, what an area. She named all the places. I'm not even going to try and pronounce them. But I think we're coming up on Hatgoid Hall. <sighs> Wicked, mate. She did say this is owned, actually, and someone's doing the roof up. So it looks like what's going on. Let's have a bunch of Wow. I don't know if we can get close to have a little bumble at it. Might be able to have a peer through the window or something. Oi. It's all boarded up, look. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> yeah. Might be slightly easier access from this side. <laughs> da, 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 da. Rat Goid Hall. Or even Rat Goid Hall. That's a roll of the tongue, isn't it? Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to get inside, and I'm certainly not going to break and enter, but uh, let's just see if we can see through the windows. It's a tidy little area, isn't it? A tidy looking building, and that's probably why someone's bought it out. Pretty cool as well, because obviously this whole area was abandoned, that house that I've just passed, this one, and all of it has been abandoned for years since the mines were shut. And now that lady was saying that this has been bought out and a few other properties, and there's becoming a little bit more of a community around here again. I mean, you've got to think, 
those guys on the quad bike bumbling up that woman's land obviously know each other really well stop for a chat check she's all right it's pretty cool man tight little community but uh wow what an entrance pretty impressive Yeah, it's locked. I ain't getting in there. Somebody's house anyway, eh? Uh, damn. Looks like they might have been here a little bit recent. <laughs> There's milk and apples and stuff on the table. No way. All right, let's go. <laughs> no, I think I'm really, feel like I'm really prying on somebody. That's well dodger. Yeah, that's not an abandoned building, is it? That's weird, isn't it? It didn't look cheesy milk either, did it? I mean, it's hard to tell from here, but yeah, it looked fresh. There's no vehicles around here though. Whoa, easy, easy. Right, let's see what else we can find. No way. I thought that was part of that. It's not, is it? That's abandoned. Hey, we found something. I don't know if I can get down to it though. Damn it. Ah, uh, oh, crud. Maybe. It does look like it's part of this building up here as well though, if I'm honest. I mean, look, they fixed the roof out. Big style there. This was an old house for the miners. Look at it. Wow, oh, stinks around it. Wow, like petrol or something. Anyway, <laughs> someone's left the toy tractor there. Oh wow, hello. Let's have a look. I mean, it's being done up by looks things, but this is what it would have been like, eh? Man, it's a bit dark and dingy. It's damp as anything, either. It's mad how these walls are still good. It's like, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I'll just put a new roof on it and it'll be fine. Bloody madness. Look at it. Wow. We went in one building, one house. Well, these are separate rooms for separate people, separate miners. This would have been your corridor area and your little room, I bet. What's down the way? A little fire in the, in the end. Oh, mate. This is a tidy little find, isn't it? Pretty impressed, man. And it looks like it's going to be a dwelling of some sort again sometime soon. Tell you what though. Ooh. Yeah, these woods a bit damp. Gonna take a while to dry out, that is. Damn. Some good wood though. Really is. It's got to be local, isn't it? Look at the thickness of them chunks, man. Damn. Some nice wood. Make some nice tables or something like that, won't you? Anything. Looks like he's making timber out of it. Proper. Proper doing it on site as well, I would have thought. Probably got himself a little, I forget what to call, but you do a woodcutter. <laughs> and no, not a little bloke with a saw or an axe. Proper machine. <sighs> Pretty cool. Bringing it back to life, man. The whole area. Pretty sweet, eh? And I think what I'll do, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of an excerpt or something, uh, just to tell you a little bit about the area, because it's quite impressive and we're not gonna get to see it all today. That lady was saying there's like, there is a mine up the way and there's all tracks that I'm not going to see today because of the snow and stuff. So there is remnants of the mines around here and such. So, yeah, a little bit of a quick excerpt and on to the next. So the information I've got is a little bit limited, but Rathgoy Quarry was one of the most northernmost slate quarries served by the Corris Railway. It's a mile north of Abergavenny in mid wales and it used to primarily work the narrow vein though it also produced some broad vein slates there was a tramway that was horse drawn that served from the village to the chorus railway and it says that it was closed around the 1950s so we can only assume that the village itself was abandoned around the same time pretty cool but also pretty sad that it all closed down freaking hell i'm just bumbling along man looking at like the trail up and whatnot. I look up, boom shanker. Oh, next abandoned building. No way, what's this say? Dangerous structure. Uh, at your own risk. Notice here by given, yeah, you're not insured if you get fallen on by big stones. I mean, there's not a lot to fall on, is there? But wow, and there's not a lot left of it. I mean, there is. The roof's gone. It needs that dude to come in and build another roof on top of it. And I guess someone will do that at some point. Mate. This is probably on the market for sale. Or if not on the market for sale, you could find out from the locals around here how you could buy it. I mean, I'm not saying like you'd want the building, but it comes with the land on it and it's got structure on it. I'm no lawyer or anything, but I would say if there's a structure on it, 
then you can rebuild it. And by rebuilding, I'm talking like insulated walls and such. Obviously a bit of a roof. And bling it up, make it livable. So right, I'm trying to find my way through it, look. There's another building over the back. We're not just talking about that, are we? This is quite a sizable establishment. This is pretty impressive. Oh, mate. Imagine this back in the day, man. It's wicked. I don't know how many rooms and buildings are here. Three or four. Wow. Really does stretch all the way back as well. I mean, I walked past the whole damn thing. My dad, bloody tractor were parked up against it. This is wicked, mate. This is what we were looking for. The abandoned village. A rat goid. Legend. Da -da -da -da. We found it, mate. <sighs> wicked. It's a good little shot. Right through. Right. I'm pretty psyched with that. We found the hall. I bumbled for an hour and a quarter, I saw nothing. It's all on this bleeding side. <sighs> now I found it all. Happy days. Let's see. <sighs> no promises if you can find the church. Honestly, this is madness. It's like waiting for a bus for hours. None come along and then they all come along together. Look, abandoned building down the way, and I'm gonna hazard a guess that. Da, 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 da. That's the church. What the heck, mate? Surely that's new and replaced that glass. I don't know. It's done bloody well to last this long if it has. If it isn't, new glass. <sighs> wow. Uh, this is a bit random, eh? It's not a big church. This really feels like a church on the prairie type thing house on the prairie church on the prairie you know what i mean middle of nowhere like in the american backwater and one of them churches you know where they're really fanatical or something i don't know i'm not you know what i mean from years ago you know what i'm saying that with the wild west movies and stuff it feels like one of them it just feels pretty amazing and i am super psyched to find it i thought the church was miles up that way evidently not what a find, what a spot, what an area, what a day. What a freaking Christmas special. <laughs> yes, bro, not a bad one. Looks like we've got another little building here. Let's have a quick look while we're here, eh? Wow, another pretty tidy looking building. I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty impressive. I mean, look at that. Hundreds of years old, no digger there. Still standing and well built. Nice size rooms. I'm almost thinking it may have been two floors. <sighs> Looks like, yeah. Look, there's all the holes for holding the beams. So it definitely was a two floored structure. I mean, you know, <laughs> but just saying. Yeah, in here as well. Looks like they had a fireplace and whatnot. Definite two floors. Wicked, mate. What do you reckon this little bit is? Sabo. <laughs> What's that for? Well, that's a bit random, isn't it? But what a nice find. Yet again. Wicked, mate. I am super psyched walking all that way and seeing nothing. I'm getting a bit apprehensive that we weren't going to find anything, but to find all this now is wicked. Totally made up. Right, I think I'm about three quarters of the way through the trail, so I don't know. Let's see how we go. Time's ticking. It's going to be two o'clock when I get back to the crib. I hope I'm not snowed in. Oi. Ta da! Another building on the way. Looks like somebody's bought it out and done it up as well. I was just thinking as well about that rat goy. I mean, I could say it, buying it. I mean, imagine like getting together as a community and buying something like that. I'm sure it wouldn't be that expensive. You're probably looking at about eight to 10 grand, maybe more. I don't know. But it's not a massive amount of money for a property and a piece of land that then could be somehow used for a community. I mean, I remember at school, I think the school used to own a property in a place called Gurdy Bleog. Similar to like this, middle of ruddy nowhere, you know what I mean? And they used to take the kids away every year, like each age group each year, a week or two weeks in Gurdy Bleog. What did I say it was called? I don't know, somewhere in Wales, in Gurdy Bleog. But yeah, imagine buying like, 
I mean, a property like that would be better. You could buy a piece of land, but the problem is with pieces of land is they come with so many restrictions for building and such. You could wait 20 years before you can put a bloody barn on it, you know what I mean, or something ridiculous. So that would be the way to go. Just food for thought, thought for the future. Imagine doing it, eh? Not bringing disability groups out here or something, called kids and stuff from schools, Dis disadvantaged kids and stuff, man. That'd be wicked, wouldn't it? I thought about that in Samoa when I were living there, a bit of a waffle again, but on a similar level because it's a lot more doable. The kids around there after school, the local kids, they really don't have a lot to do. Sure, they can go down the beach and that, but they want to be into stuff like normal kids, you know what I mean? And me and my mate were talking about maybe like buying or leasing a piece of land where we could build like a community centre for the kids skateboard park there basketball courts little mini football courts and such just give the kids something to do you know what i mean and have it done and funded and helped by the local communities i don't know i get a buzz from thinking about things like that you know i struggle myself with my own freaking life and my own funds but just that dream of being like in a position where I could do something like that and not worry about my finances, just hey, 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 everything's ticking, so let's focus on what we can do for others, man. Be wicked, won't it? What a buzz. Imagine that, build a community centre for the kids in Thailand and Samoa. Imagine seeing the faces the first time they're coming with all the colours and the stuff there, mate. <sighs> yeah, be a buzz, won't it? <sighs> it's a weird old world, the old YouTube, isn't it? Let's see. I mean, if you got 200,000 subscribers, I reckon we'd be in a pretty good position to start doing some mega stuff, mate. Not just trips, but yeah, setting up stuff like that. Eh? Anyway, I think we're almost at the end of the trail. Wow, it has got a big bit that cuts right on the corner, but I think I'm gonna cut it off. And maybe come back another time and check that bit out, eh? So, yeah. Damn, check this out. I found the quarry. Or at least one of them. This is mental. Look at all this broken stuff up here. Iron and workman stuff, or workwoman stuff. I'll tell you what though, look how freaking deep down it goes. Looks like there might be a cave entrance over there somewhere. We might be able to find an entrance into this bit. And then it just heads all the way down into the dark, mate. Wow, that's impressive. A pretty scary, tidy find to be fair. All right, let's keep moving. Check it out, man. They love their bling motors around here, don't they? More importantly, there's my motor and the crib. And here's the plan. It's 133 miles to Leicester. I've got half a pack of wine gums. It's snowy, and I'm about to put on my driving glasses. Let's roll. No, <laughs> it's not a Blues Brothers thing, but that is how far it is. 133 miles. I think my main problem here is going to be getting out of this village. Once I'm on the top of that, it's an A road for about 30 odd, 40 odd miles through the mountains of Snowdonia. And then hopefully it's normal roads thereafter. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'll see you back at the house, hopefully in Leicester. It's two o'clock now and the England-France game starts at seven o'clock. I've got five hours. It's telling me it's gonna take three. <laughs> I'm hoping four. Let's find out. time home and dry let's have a look oh my goodness 700 miles is that what i've done that can't be right hang on oh man it is right 700 on the nose wicked man and da -da -da -da, an hour and four minutes till kick off mate to surmise honestly one absolute legend of a trip spanking start up at werewolf in london Foggy little trail, found that fort, couple of spanking spots up on the Pacelles, and then to boot with that hidden village and the snow this morning. What a fantastic trip. It's been immense from start to finish, it really has. I think it's fair to say I found every last piece of me mojo. And I think this is gonna be the perfect point to end the episode. As always, I really, really enjoyed it. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments. Merry Christmas, 
to one and all. And as always, you know, you know. Take it easy. Enjoy the camp and stay stealthy. All right. <laughs>